All right, people, welcome back to more Fake Card Friday. So, of course, you guys know, whenever there's a fusion archetype or something that has to do with fusion, and, you know, when they see Shadals, then they see Red Eyes, then a little bit of Gem Knight, every single fusion thing has to get their own card that fuses from the deck, of course. So, uh, we are simply forgetting about one of the best fusion archetypes in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! How come it hasn't got one that fuses from the deck? So this person decided to go ahead and make it and what 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 am I talking about? What what do you what, what come on. Come on. Fusion Damn it had its own freaking T V series. We're talking about heroes, alright people, we're talking about heroes. I know. It's been a cool minute since you saw them fuse because literally the, I know the deck has turned to degenerate just dank law dot deck. I know it sucks, you know. Freaking freaking Jaden's just like, what the, what, what is this? What is, wh what? <laughs> you know, he's like, yeah, I played Stratus. He was really great. What, he's banned? <laughs> I mean, why are you guys crying? You guys got Avion. <laughs> but, you know, to turn, turning into just degenerate ass. Just Dark Law, Dark Law, Dark Law, Dark Law, Dark Law, Dark Law. You know, that, that deck has turned into a helmet deck. And it really is sad, you know? I want to play a helmet deck. I think I go play Bujins. Anyway. Uh, this person decided to go ahead and make a, uh, poly, uh, deck poly for heroes. Yeah. So, we're gonna go ahead and read this card and, you know, determine it, whether it's good or not, and the balancing factors and all on that. So, alright, let's go. So, it is actually a continuous spell. You're like, what? Say, what? Yeah, continuous spell. Okay. So, reveal one hero fusion monster in your your extra deck and send from your main deck to the graveyard the fusion materials that are listed on that fusion monster card okay so you go ahead and take one of your heroes and then you send the monsters from your deck to the graveyard and get ready to fuse but that's not it then you send all other cards you control to the graveyard then special summon one of that fusion monster from your extra deck and target it with this card Ooh. Hopefully you don't have a lot of cards on the field, and of course, you know, heroes are kind of a back row helmet kind of deck, so you have to send all cards you control to the graveyard, so all your cards are gone for this, and hopefully that monster that you're summoning is totally worth it, but damn, okay. Uh, the special summon is also treated as a fusion summon, okay. When this card leaves the field, destroy that target. Oh, fucking great. Awesome, so... And then when that target just destroys destroy this card, oh wow, that uh, the, okay, that that's great, I guess. So not only am I freaking sending all the cards on my field to the graveyard, but when I summon this card, when I summon my future monster, equip it. All my opponent has to do is MST, and then like literally my field is gone. Like ooh, ooh, you know, freaking Shadow Fusion doesn't do that. Freaking Red Eye Fusion doesn't do that. Freaking the Gemini Fusion doesn't do that. Why why does this card do that? Damn. You can only activate one binding polymer once per turn. Uh, this card is face up on the field. This controller can only control hero monsters. Damn. Damn. All right. So, I mean, you guys know I'm not a big fan of the whole, like, oh, you know, summon from your deck because, you know, I feel that if you're going to go ahead and summon uh, a monster stronger than what you do with using, the, you know, those extra deck mechanics, you should neck. I mean, that's what you're doing. You're 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 losing resources to go ahead and summon a more powerful monster. You know, when you fuse, you go ahead and lose cards. You take the poly, you fuse, and you get a powerful monster, but you're necking on resources. So you know, it's give and take. You know, synchro summoning the tuner and the non-tuners. You're necking. You exceed. You neck. You know, but then all of a sudden they just started making all these cards that you can go ahead and fuse from your deck, and deck isn't any resource. Your deck is nothing. You know, when you count resources, is what. You could have on your field and what you have in your hand. So when you go ahead and play a card like Shadow Fusion and you send monsters from your deck, you're not even negging. You know, you're probably going to plus it just because it's Nulls. But, uh, you know, even with Red Eyes, you know, you're just sending the Red Eyes, send the Summon Skull. So you're using your one Fusion card to summon your one Fusion monster. That's a one for one, and you're summoning a very powerful monster. You know? So I always thought it was kind of unfair. I mean, what if all of a sudden they freaking made, like, you know, a freaking card that allowed you to send a tuner and a non-tuner from your deck to the graveyard to go ahead and synchro summon like how would that not be busted you know it's just like yeah or activate this card and then send two monsters from your deck to the graveyard that are the same you know 
you know, activate this card and then summon two monsters from your deck to the field and then immediately XC in the summon, um, XC in the something. See, see, not see, doesn't that sound busted? But oh, just because it's fused into just because it's a particular archetype, it's like, oh, it's fine. Like, no, it's not. It's not. But yeah. Anyway, um, out of all of them so far, this one's the, the most balanced, but I think, I mean, God, it's just like, send all your cards. Also, um, yeah, it's equipped to the monster, and if this card is destroyed, destroy that monster, and vice versa, and, uh, and, and you can only summon hero monsters, so if you think about doing anything else, which generally, sometimes heroes stick to their thing, but it's just like, God, the restrictions, the restrictions are for real for real so uh so only one person commented the creator of the card didn't really comment anything they just said keeping the flavor of hero support like okay you know we should have went in a little bit more detail about why you made the card and stuff like that like generally people usually do but uh anyway let's go ahead and read what this one person uh replied and commented said so funny the first thing i thought when i saw this wasn't oh an easier way to make heroes but rather oh good yet another search tree yeah like heroes are lacking in those Okay, so not as sure this is exactly in that's his eye, namely because of the fact that this does trigger Shadow Mist, uh, which I'm not sure the world really needed this. But I mean, I guess I mean, for all you're doing with this card, I think you using Shadow Mist as one of the materials is one of the last things. I mean, I guess you can go ahead and send Shadow Mist and then a Bubble Man and then summon the Absolute Zero. So and then get your search. So he says, let me see. The move my miss to make absolute zero scot free of costs. What do you mean costs? He just sent your entire field. Hmm, I mean I mean of course if you get rid of this card, this would destroy the absolute zero, which would wipe you and vice versa, but you know, what do you mean? Use miss to set, fetch blaze man, fetch another bubble man, bend on your hand, proceed to plus more. Yeah, I mean you could still normal special summon them like, you know, like right after using so yeah, you can go ahead and send Mist, and then Mist can search for Blaze Man. Then you can go ahead and summon Blaze Man. Go ahead and search. This is this is Polymer, so I don't think it counts as Poly. So, um, at least that's good. So at least Blaze Man can search it. Uh, the main weakness this card is obviously the controller can only control hero monsters, but it's not really such a debate. Uh, debilitating weakness when you set yourself for like plus two, which can possibly be extended future turns. The idea is to remove controller can only control hero monsters restriction and instead make it so you can only create heroes with written materials not sh and not the rainbow fusion you know, so that's pretty silly no oh, i mean that'd be cool if you could do that you go ahead and send rainbow dragons and neos and summon rainbow neos like wow that would that'd, that'd be probably one of the more impressive plays <laughs> uh, i don't know which, which freaking neos wiseman was a freaking hero and you could do that but you know. <laughs> though to be honest even Close to any form of mass building is a bad idea. I should obviously at least as a restriction. What's 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 the restriction? What's the restriction? I mean, you, I said your play seems fine. Yeah, that's probably one of the best plays I could think of. Is that you know? It just depends on when you activate. If you activate it and you control a whole bunch of cards, then you know that sucks. You know, so at least you can get a little bit pushes to come back. But if you know, if you have if you control no card, then you go ahead and be out of play. Yeah, it doesn't say, you know, if your opponent controls a monster, you don't, or you can't know something special, I mean, you literally just play it, so, you know, if you, you know, play this early in the duel, like, maybe, like, you know, first or second turn, go ahead and play this, uh, you know, send the Dark Law, send the Bubble Man, some absolute zero, Shadow, I mean, yeah, Shadow, I said Dark Law, I mean, Shadow Mist, Shadow Mist, Bubble Man, go ahead and summon the absolute zero, then Shadow Mist, go ahead and search you for, like, you know, just Blaze Man, you know, summon him to the field, light it up, get high, Go ahead and search for, you know, uh, probably a through Apollo, because you don't want to send another monster, you know, you don't want to send, send like, uh, Shadow Mist, because you already use effect, so let's go ahead and search for another Apollo, even depending on what you have in your hand, go ahead and fuse, uh, again, I said, you could do some pretty powerful plays, it's just, uh, it depends on when you activate it, so, mmm, that's debatable. I'd probably have to say the most balanced card is, that's a tough one, because, should all fusion, you can only fuse some deck of opponent control extract monster. So if you don't control extract monster, you can't do it. But you're sending should all monsters to the graveyard and then they go off and get their plots. But then red eye fusion, you don't you can just play it whenever, you know, just play it. 
can go ahead and fuse, but then you can't normal summon or set. Or special summon anything else for the, you can't summon anything else for the rest of the turn. So or the turn you activate the card, so that's literally your only summon for the turn. But you know, you don't even have to uh your opponent doesn't even have to control special summon monster or anything like that. You just play it. And you're facing down, you know, a thirty two on me who burns you, so I don't know. I don't know. Like I said Gem Knight, the, the Gem Knight one. That you send Gem Knights and Gem Knights in general are type powerful and your monster someone has zero attack and you got to the spell gain your attack back. Yeah. But meh, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't like something from the deck. I, like I said, I think it's a busted mechanic that should never exist in Yu-Gi-Oh. Miracle Fusion is fine because, you know, you're at least using monsters that you're already using dual, but to be able to go ahead and fuse with monsters in the deck who haven't even, you know, entered the duel yet, it's kind of ridiculous. So, anyway, I'm going to call that a video. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, tell me what you guys would go ahead and fuse into with this card. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another fake card to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.